Well, hello, everybody, and welcome. My name is Roger, and this is your daily tarot map for Saturday, August 8th, 2015, using tarot to create the life you want. First off, I want to thank everybody for liking these videos, for sharing them on your social networks, for subscribing to these, this channel, for, uh, for commenting on the videos. I really appreciate your support. And also, I want to let you know that uh, if you sometimes, you know, sometimes we get busy, we can, you know, we don't, we can't find the time to watch a video every day. Uh, I also post a transcript of all of these videos on my website over at tarot-dude.com. So, uh, so if you miss a video for a day or just uh, want to quickly read the gist of today's message, you can catch me there. So today we conclude our work with the Housewives Tarot by Paul Keppel and Jude Buffum as tomorrow we begin working with, uh, with a new deck for the coming week. So be, to, be sure to tune in tomorrow to see what that deck is. So on to today's draw using the Housewives Tarot. The three cards drawn randomly from the deck today were the High Priestess, the World, and the Seven of Wands. Well, what an interesting group of cards we have today. And uh, upon a quick perusal of them, I'm seeing that something is about to burst forth uh, in uh, some of your lives today. So the first card in our draw is the High Priestess. And this is a card representing the passive principle. It's about mystery, stillness, uh, passivity. But from what I'm seeing here, all that's about to come to an end shortly. Uh, many of us, you know, many of us go through our entire lives barely content with what we're doing. Uh, in, spite of, in spite of the fact that there's a little nagging voice in the back of our heads, perhaps uh, urging us to try something else, to, to try something new, uh, to spread our wings and fly. You know, often we're not even fully aware of this ourselves, and then all of a sudden, boom, one day something new pops into our mind and we completely change direction or at least begin thinking seriously about it. Um, in addition to being about, pa about passivity, the high priestess can signify potential in our lives, potential that may not yet be realized or discovered. Now, this, call, this card may be a call for some of us to look within and really listen to our intuition, to, to what it's telling us. It might be time to reconcile our inner life with our outer life. That is to say, by exploring that part of us that we may have suppressed or ignored. Now, this could entail an entirely new change in direction, as suggested by our second card, the world. Now, this is typically a card of success, of, uh, of, of attainment, of, of having it all. Sometimes we may think we're happy. That we, that we have it all, but deep down we know that there's still that little something missing, uh, a part of us that we haven't yet explored. Now the high priestess situated next to the world suggests to me that it might be time to bring those ideas to the surface and perhaps venture down a new unknown path. For the world card often, point, uh, often points to the beginning of an entirely new cycle in one's life. You know, there's always so much to strive for in life, but it is ultimately up to us to decide if we're up to the challenge, as signified by our last card, the Seven of Wands, the card of challenges. You know, we might feel comfortable and sort of uh, content now in our current situation, but daring to take that new turn that we mentioned, the new change in direction, will have its share of challenges, upsetting the apple cart, as it were. But if there... But if this is something that you really want to do or a dream inside of you that you'd like to explore and bring into being, then this card warns you that you should do so, but there will be those who will oppose you, especially uh, if uh, you've catered to the needs of someone else uh, and then suddenly you no longer have time to be there for them 24-7. But the Seven of Wands advises you to stand firm and not let other people's ideas of what you should be doing dissuade you from your goals. Sometimes we have to, to, uh, we have to come out and find the courage to say, no, this is my time now. I need to do this. So the message today for these three cards is, to grow often requires us to step off the familiar path and strike out on new ones. 
Though there will be challenges, the resulting satisfaction gained from following your dreams is worth the effort. So today's advice card comes from the Chronicles of Destiny fortune cards, and the card drawn randomly from the deck is number seven, Whispering Hall. So the Whispering Hall card once again makes an appearance. Now you know at first glance it might seem that this is a this is a rather grim card to show up in an otherwise positive message, as this card is about uh, self doubt, uh, fear, uh, lack of confidence, uh, denial, but. It actually makes sense here because these are the emotions, you know, that fear, the denial, self-doubt, those are the emotions that typically prevent us from, uh, from following our dreams, that, uh, that keep us stuck in the familiar and the comfortable. You know, sometimes we have two voice, sets of voices in our head, one that urges us on and the other telling us that we're not good enough to stay put. And the one that wins is the one we listen to. And uh, that is your daily tarot map for today. Um, if you liked this video, I'd really appreciate it if you'd click the like button below. And uh, to learn more about me and my work, visit me at tarot-dude.com. And uh, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Brightest blessings.